Xin chào, what's up everybody? All right, it's Sunday night. We're in Li Dong Tan, Japan Town. In this video, we're gonna talk about smoking and the crazy statistics behind it here and why I'm glad I quit smoking. So let's get right into it. Let's walk around and let's talk about it. So the biggest thing right now that's, that's on the topic of the government is to increase the taxes big time on cigarettes. Right now, it's one of the lowest taxed countries besides Cambodia and all of Southeast Asia for cigarettes. You can get a pack of cigarettes for 30 cents. Saigon Ba, Saigon Silver, what I used to smoke, were 30 to 50 cents. So kind of some of the cheapest cigarettes that I know of pretty much worldwide are available here. And that's why, like, you know, it, the statistics are, are nuts. I'm going to read them directly for you so I don't, like, make anything up because I want you to have a grasp on how big smoking is here and how difficult it actually was to smoke, stop smoking cigarettes here. Luckily, I've transitioned and it's been... Man, he really want to go. Go, go, go. <laughs> now he's like, sorry, sorry. It's all good. It was a pretty hard transition, but I'm happy now that I've done it. You know, I feel better than I have probably since I've lived here. I'm not coughing up stuff in the morning. Um, I'm not coughing up green phlegm ever or any kind of phlegm. My lungs feel great. Food tastes better. So let's get into the statistics. Of course, if you like this, please subscribe to the channel. It's the best way to help me out. Also, there's a lot of cool shit over on Patreon if you want to check that out. You can sign up for as little as 16 cents a day. The Ministry of Finance in a draft bill wants the special consumption tax on cigarette to be increased to reduce consumption. The tax currently accounts for 75% of factory price, only accounts for 38% of retail price, it said. That's far below the 70% of retail price tax that the WHO recommends. Vietnam's special consumption tax on cigarette is nearly the lowest in ASEAN, only higher than Cambodia, Laos, and Myanmar. Brunei's tax on retail price is 81%, while Thailand's is 70%, of Singapore is 69%. Developer countries such as France impose 80% and Germany 75%. So before we get to the rest of that video, the rest of that article, this is why I quit smoking in California. You know, that pack of cigarettes was, I think, $12 or $14 when I quit smoking. And you could get a pack of four jewel pods for $16 that would last twice as long as a pack of cigarettes would. So it was fairly easy for me to quit in California because raising the taxes and making them crazy expensive in the case of cigarettes actually works because let's, let's be truthful. What kind of people are smoking cigarettes? It's going to be the lower class. So it's going to be people that aren't making as much money per year as a lot of other classes in the social system. So when you imply these high taxes on them, when a pack of cigarettes costs like $20 like they do in New York, it's going to be difficult for someone to really justify killing themselves each cigarette and then paying a high price for it. If you've never smoked, don't ever smoke. It's a terrible habit. It is probably one of the worst habits there is. It is absolutely terrible. It's a difficult habit to quit. You know, just having one or two can lead you down a road of having a bunch. I turn down cigarette anytime anybody tries to give me one. In fact, we were with uh, my wife's family today. I had one beer with uh, her dad and he kept trying to give me cigarettes and I was like, nope, nope. I would just say, come Sal, come on. It's just no problem, no worries. Thanks, and then I'd say, bah. So thanks dad. So it's very easy for me to turn them down. Even drunk, I don't want one. Um, I was able to pretty decisively quit cigarettes. I do vape, there's no lie to that. And I'm sure vaping isn't healthy for you either and somebody's gonna be like, vaping's worse. I personally do not think vaping's worse. If you do, that's fine. We don't have to agree on everything, that's kind of life. But that's part of the reason why <clears throat> raising taxes on cigarette works pretty well. The guys. So I mean, it does work. There's, there, the proof is in the percentages and stuff. You know, they would have to do drastic raises because you're still talking, you know, going from a pack of 30 cent cigarettes here to a dollar or maybe two dollars. And I think a lot of Vietnamese would pay that still. 
so I don't think it'll make a big bit of difference, but it's the start on the road to, to mending, um, you know, bad habits. Okay. Although Vietnam's special consumption tax has been rising in recent years, the ratio of people smoking remained high. In 2020, 42% of men smoked. Wow. The target is to bring it down to 37 by 2025, 32 by 2030, which I think is a bit of an ambitious goal. Is that goal possible? Sure. But as I said, the cigarettes are so cheap here, and I think these statistics are a little low. I think it, the ratio is more so 50% smoke from what I see just out walking around. And a lot of Vietnamese will smoke pretty heavy when they drink, even if they don't smoke regularly in their daily life from uh, peer pressure of people around you that do smoke. It's a very big thing here. Like like what my wife's dad does, like makes me want, he's like, have a cigarette with me. And he, it's almost like rude to turn it down. But in that instance, I will be rude because I have no plans of ever smoking again. You know, I want that to be a habit that I am completely done with. I can't stand the smell of them now. I don't want anything to do with it. I don't want yellow fingers, yellow teeth, you know, all the things that come with it. There's not many plus sides to smoking unless you just don't give a F and you're like, whatever, let's roll the dice. And I'm sure I'm gonna have permanent damage from smoking so long. I'll probably have a, uh, I'll die sooner. I might have some health complications that are pretty serious down the line from smoking cigarettes. So, you know, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just giving you my experience in life and what I think it's going to look like here. So smoking needs to be controlled more as the hikes of special consumption tax have not been achieved. Smoking reduction targets, the ministry said. It is therefore looking to hike the tax and add more taxes to reduce the purchase of low quality and low price cigarettes. So like I said, you'd have to impose a pretty hefty, a heart of darkness is totally empty. It's Sunday night though. So. I think I've been to Heart of Darkness a total of one time in my whole life. Not the place for me. I don't really go to bars anymore, so... Unless I'm doing a tour. That's really the only time I go to a bar. Or like if a friend is here and they really want to go out. I'll go, sure. WHO representative in Vietnam, Angela Pratt. Sounds like a real winner needs to make a stronger effort to reduce smoking and hiking cigarette taxes is one of the most cost-effective solutions. Are too low, prices are too low, and prices are not a problem for young people in developing smoking habit. A single absolute tax on all types of cigarettes will prevent smokers from switching from an expensive type to a cheaper one. The WHO report found that number of countries imposing ratio tax on cigarettes dropped from 57 in 2008 to 42 in 2018. Well, that of countries that impose a combination of taxes increased from 48 to 63 in the period. Most countries in Southeast Asia impose either absolute tax or a combination. Six countries that impose absolute tax, Brunei, Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, Singapore, and Malaysia. Oh, they put the Malaysia twice. Laos and Thailand impose a combination of taxes. Only Vietnam and Cambo impose ratio tax. This is where the stats are wild. This is the wild part that I wanted to, to stress in this video. Representative Tobacco Control Fund under the Ministry of Health said that smoking is the cause of over 40,000 deaths in Vietnam every year. 21% of male deaths are related to smoking. That's a crazy number. 25 diseases such as stroke or lung cancer are among the top causes of death in Vietnam. At the end of last year, the health ministry banned e-cigarette due to the high risk of damage to people's health. That is not true. I don't know why they wrote that. Um, VN Express sometimes does a good job on this stuff and sometimes does a really bad job. That's one that they uh, didn't translate properly. The Ministry of Health uh, threw the idea around. Is, is really it. They didn't actually pass it. They, they put out feelers to see if that's what they should do to, to curb e-cigarettes. And I think it'd be... A tremendously stupid idea if they ban e-cigarettes here for real. You're going to just push all those kids that are smoking e-cigarettes into the black market. You're going to make the black market huge. And then on top of that, they're going to switch to cigarettes if they can't get e-cigarettes. 
That was my same argument to Jewel when like the government was going after Jewel. I don't I don't think Jewel's plan was to I watched all the specials on it. I think Jewel just wanted a replacement product for adults to stop smoking. Like saying that mango flavor pods were made for high schoolers. I'm sure there's some truth to that, just like all the cigarette manufacturers used to appeal to younger generation. You get them hooked young, good. But you're never going to convince me that a cigarette is safer than a, a, an e an e sig device. You're just not. I've done them both, and I can feel the my body feels 20 billion times better not on a cigarette compared to an e-cigarette. So it's okay. Like I said, you can think what you want. If you think like e-cigarettes are the devil's cabbage, that's fine. We don't have to agree on everything. I'm just giving you my personal life experience with this stuff. Nothing else, you know. Not very busy for a Sunday night. I've never eaten at this Bach team. It seems to do very well. It's just hot pot, so that's probably why I haven't eaten here. I'm really not a fan of the Vietnamese hot pot in Saigon. They use an immense amount of sugar, and the flavors just aren't there for me. It's just not. That lady looks like she's 104, walking straight left and right. Yeah, I mean, this place is really popular. It's like fried foods. It's probably got a huge menu of like 500 things. That's all these places are. A lot of hot pot though. Hot pot seems to be their thing. They do good business here. It's grown each year. It used to not be as big as this pre-COVID. After COVID, it's really come on. You can see how many kids are coming here to eat. Cheap place to eat and drink. I think it's the right step forward though for a lot of this stuff. Like they've got to start thinking about cigarettes at least. And yo, <laughs> ciao. <laughs> You try to walk through these areas as fast as possible when you're a YouTuber because you don't want to get dragged into one of these tables. It's impossible to get away. Oh, smoking some weed. Got the guns, yeah. It's very difficult. Like, if you go in with a group of those Vietnamese dudes that are, really want to drink with a white guy, it's hard to leave. So, like, it just becomes this awkward mess. I've done it quite a few times. Now I just won't. I'll just keep, I walk fast. Like, some guy just grabbed me and he, he weighed me down to have beer. Yeah, it would make for a cool vlog, but I don't have two hours of my life to sacrifice right now to like some drunk Vietnamese guys and me not understand a word of what they're saying. So that's kind of the reason why that went down. And that's why you don't see me stop and do that. I think other YouTubers do, so great for them. They probably know more Vietnamese than me, so it's probably a bit funner for them. I admittedly am absolutely terrible with Vietnamese and learning it is pretty difficult for me. Yeah, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section about smoking. Have you quit smoking? Do you e-vape now or e-cig? Um, do you think it's better? I don't really need to hear too much about how the chemical one's worse, the e-vape. But I mean, if you want to express that opinion, you're more than welcome to. It's, it's a free for all in the comment section as long as you're just not an asshole. So that's the video. Thanks for watching. Stay frosty. See you guys on the next one. Have a fantastic Sunday or Monday. I don't know which. This video might come out first tonight. Then I'll do the other one tomorrow morning. I haven't decided yet. So, all right, guys. Stay frosty. Thanks for watching. Peace out.